thanks for joining me today, dear friends. Uh, this is a quick video to uh, give you a little bit of information about additional Power Automate capabilities. And uh, you probably already saw this thing which is called AI Builder. Uh, if I go back to my flows, right, to the flow center, I see here this part, right, it's called AI Builder. And uh, what is it about? So basically, uh, you probably heard about uh, Dataverse. This is like a premium uh, database with some uh, specific models that can be used uh, to model different business processes, which makes it a little bit easier. It's a bit more sophisticated and it gives you some additional uh, options here. So if I go to explore, uh, right, uh, let's see what's here. Um, you see, I have, um, first I need to get a trial for that, right? Because, um, it's not included in a standard and premium license for Power Automate. It's, it's an additional add-on that you would need to purchase. Uh, but for now, we're not going to focus on licensing. For now, I just want to uh, show you a brief overview of what could be done here. So you see here, there are some templates already which are pre-built, some specific models that you can reuse in your flow. So let's have a look, uh, for example, um, let's see here, we have Explorer and here there will be specific models probably. Right, uh, at the moment I do not have any models. There is an option to build a model. And uh, if I come back, uh, for now I'm just going to use an existing model. So uh, let's say, let's try this one, extract information from receipts. This would be a, a very common uh, use case when, uh, let's say if you want to track expenses and upload the receipts in your OneDrive for business that you can process later. So uh, basically you would upload a file, a uh, type of a receipt, and I can upload a couple of new receipts here that uh, could be used to um, you know to train this model and now I go here to select an option uh, use in a flow uh, so uh, let's try this when I click using on a flow there is already a template a flow template which have this action integrated inserted into here so if I connect uh, here, established proper connections. You see here, I have one connection, which is called Microsoft Dataverse. And basically this, what gives us um, this additional AI uh, builder capability. So now I uh, start, you know, I create this flow. It takes a moment. So now you, you let's look at the logic. When the file is created, it's created in a specific folder. Uh, you know, I can have additional folder or for now I just use a root in OneDrive. And then there is this processing stage, right? So this process, you see this kind of a brain thingy here. It uh, basically processes the file content, right, of this file. And then uh, what it does, it creates a link, a, a shareable link uh, with a view type within the organization that we have. And it adds a row in a table. So basically uh, I can go to a specific document library uh, and then I would select a file that would store my receipt. Uh, I have a file here, which is called receipt scans. And uh, then I would uh, uh, select a table. Uh, it looks like I do not have a table here, but um, let me see, there is nothing, okay. 
So let's look uh, what should be included in the table, right? If I were to create a table, I would have, uh, I should have columns similar to this ones, like a purchased item name, type, quantity, etc. So I would go to my uh, receipt. Uh, let's let's do the the name and the price. I go to this uh, Excel, right, and I put uh, item name and uh, item price for now right it has to be formatted as a table so uh, table right so now i have this uh, let me modify it a little bit instead of column one it will be name and instead of column two i just uh, select uh, price price and that basically gives me uh, this table that I can use it saved automatically so if I go back to my flow right uh, and for now I just save I cannot save it so let me uh, refresh What's the name of my table? It's called, uh, if I select the table, how do I select the table in Excel? Uh, there is a table thingy, right? It's called table one, right? So I go back and for now I just put a uh, table one. And you see now I get this item date, etc. So these things they have to be updated. So uh, this I can remove. And for the name in my table, I just put the uh, name. Purchased item name would be here, right? And for price, it will be total. Purchased items, total price or total, I'm not sure which one of those, you can uh, experiment for yourself. So um, you see this one goes in a loop. So it means for each of the items, it will get the purchased item price and put it in the name and then the actual purchased items um, value right it would put it in the price column so now i save it and uh that's it right i have a um, i have a flow which is ready to go uh you could try something like this and test it with actual receipts i'm not going to do it at the moment but you get an idea how to do that right uh the trigger here is when a file is created in uh, OneDrive. So as soon as you upload a new receipt into OneDrive, it should process the information and do what it's supposed to do. And if you have a chance to test it, please go ahead and do that. Uh, I could probably do it a bit later, but at least you get an idea how to use an uh, AI builder model in your uh, Power Automate flow. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.